Hey everyone, it's Nelson Miller here with PA Creative. Today I'm excited to announce our new flagship plugin for Divi. It's called Divi Assistant. So hop on over to the product page. You can read all about it. What is this plugin? Well, it's a plugin that helps you when you're working with Divi. It's all kinds of tools. It's just a collection, a suite of tools and features and just settings and just, yeah, tons of stuff that will be useful and practical and will make life so much easier when you're working on a Divi website. From just getting started importing things like quick startup actions and, um, you know, a, a, a child theme generator to, you know, importing a list of plugins and your settings from a previous site, all kinds of utilities and hacks and visual builder fixes and, um, um, you know, alt text fixes, accessibility features, um, maintenance. I mean, you know, I can't even think of everything. There, there's so many things. There's about 78 main features in this version 1.0 that I'm releasing today. And we're going to continually add more and more features. We have a huge list of features that we are going to add to this plugin. This is this is just the beginning. It really is. Um, after Divi 5.0 is released, we are going to just pour tons of features into this plugin and you can expect them coming soon. Um, just lots of features inside the modules and such like that. But this, so far, the 78 features that I mentioned, most of them are not even inside the visual builder. Most of them are just other features that will yeah, make your life easier when you're working with Divi. So I'm not going to go over any of them in detail here at all. They, they will be in separate videos and blog posts and you know, you can just check them out on your own. So this video, this right here, this is just an introduction to say, hey, go check it out for yourself. There are, like I said, 78 features so far. I'm just gonna like scroll down through here. Maybe I'll jump into a live demo and just show it. In fact, you can jump into a live demo as well and explore the features. That's, that's a really cool thing. So you can go to the, the website here, uh, right here, instant live demo, and you can just go ahead and jump in there and view that. I won't even bother scrolling down this page. It's just a long page of all the features. Let's jump right into the plugin. I'll just show you really quick. There's going to be a dashboard like this. And in the top purple bar, there's anything that's related to like the Divi Assistant plugin itself. So like here you can enable different add-ons. So like, like if I didn't want the maintenance helper, I could turn that off and then it's gonna hide this tab over here. Speaking of these tabs, there's gonna be just tabs down through here and then sub tabs. And each one of these is like a category of other things. Like for example, utility helper. Well, there's things related to the admin bar. There's things related to like the editors. Um, we'll look at these, but back to this top bar, there's just, you know, reset settings, import and export, like everything related to Divi Assistant. Like, like if you have configure one site and then you export it, then when you do a next, your next site, you can just import all of these settings. Just, just like that. You're going to have everything set up. So, um, here you can share ideas with me and, um, learn about us and our change log will be there and you can get support on that one. So back to the dashboard, there's going to be things here like, Hey, I'm not on the latest version of Divi. I can literally click this button and it will update or I can view the change log. Hey, there's a new blog post from elegant themes. I can go view that. Oh, and from us, you know, we have a new plugin available. There'll be some updates like that and things like that. Maybe if your server doesn't, you know, meet the requirements, there'll be a notification here. So startup helper, there's a bunch of actions. I can click these green buttons. Here's just a reminder to import settings. Um, I can just instantly, you know, remove default themes just like that. See, it says default themes instantly removed. So I can do that for each of these. Create and assign a home page, primary menu, permalinks, import a list of plugins. Okay. Um, here I can do that too. All these plugins that I have installed, I can, I can select them, download it. And then when I install a new site, whoosh, you know, have all my plugins that I want installed. <laughs> That's crazy. Uh, it's really going to save you time. Here you can do a child theme. Here you can actually export the active child theme. So then you can use it on the next site. Maintenance helper, there's a coming soon mode. You can turn that on, then pick a library layout or a page. Same with maintenance mode, turn that on and pick, pick a library layout or page. Here you can view the Divi change log and you know, it's a very simplified version. Here you can, our, our uh, utility settings related to updates like disabling default WordPress themes, they don't appear and disable the option to have automatic theme and plugin updates. Um, here you can actually change to any version of Divi. So like 
if I want to be on 4.21 or, you know, whatever, I can literally just pick it here. Literally any version I can just pick and then install it. And it even shows the change log for it. Pretty cool, pretty cool. All right, so utility helper. Now this, there's a lot of utilities. So utility is kind of a broad term. So I organize them into editor, you know, clear the static CSS, clear local storage, hard refresh your browser, add quick links, um, build your own quick links. Here you can literally build your own quick links that appear up here at the top, right? Um, show an environments badge, whether it's, you know, production or development or staging. Um, here you can actually hide the admin bar. So then there's editor related things. Enable the classic editor per post type. That's something you can't do in Divi, so that's really cool. So I can just choose whether I want them on posts or pages or just one or the other. Really, really extremely useful feature. Um, enable the Divi Builder by default on any of these post types. Hide WordPress buttons so that your, your clients or just anyone doesn't cl accidentally click the WordPress button. Um, disable the WordPress like things that pop up. Here you can add a link to open the page or post in the Visual Builder. Um, here's a bunch of Visual Builder things. Um, use the escape key to exit and check this out. Hide pre-made layouts. This is the first and only feature available for Divi to hide a pre-made layouts. So that you might want to uh, take notice to that. That took a lot of work, but we got it. Now, um, here's one to make the text editor sticky. Increase the height of like the HTML area. The settings pop up, the icon, remove this, this silly little thing. Um, make rows wider in the post content. Um, Divi library, you can enable the option to just duplicate Divi library items. Add a link to export Divi library items with one click. That's incredible. Use Divi library layouts as widgets. Use Divi library layouts anywhere with short codes. Okay, inside you can nest other modules. And then I have one called post types and here you can hide the projects post type or you can rename it. Okay. And then check out this show theme builder templates as custom post types in the menu. So there's that little issue with, with those being lost. So now you always have a backup of your theme builder templates, media helper. So you can enable SVG uploads for the admin. You can limit how large the upload size is. And then alt text, we have a whole bunch of alt text fixes. So, you know, now all your problems are solved. There's going to be alt text wherever you want it automatically from the media library. And then you can even choose, um, even if you have some in the Divi module and you want it to be from the media library, there you go. We're going to add a bunch more here. So stay tuned for that learning helper. Here's a glossary of Divi terms and you can search it by like keyword or like that. Here's all of our tutorials that are available on our blog. Here's the courses that are available. Here's a support helper. So you can just copy this, this entire report here will come as text, or I can download this right here as an image. See, it says my website name, the URL, which what's the host, if we can find it, the Divi theme version, is, is there cache, you know, um, all these stuff. So now when you ask for help in a Facebook group, you can just download this and share that or with elegant themes, you can share this report fonts helper enable additional file fonts okay so now you can upload any kind of font types in the divi builder local fonts all right did i get your attention local fonts you can upload your own local fonts um, you can even go and disable the, the google fonts and use these instead you can name them um, then you can delete them styles helper so watch this if i enable any of these h1 down through or body link bullet number all right, so you have desktop, tablet, and phone. See, I can choose a font, and then I can choose a font weight, and any of these things here for H1s, and that will apply across your entire site. Um, I can do the same thing for body text. I can do the same thing for links and bullets and all these. And now remember, you can go and export. I can export this, and now on my next site, I only have to set this up once. And now I can export and import and Boom, just like that, I have all my fonts and styles globally set up on my website. Code helper, okay, I gotta show you this. If I enable these, oh, and here's one. Enable the draggable theme options. I'm gonna show you these real quick. I mean, just look at that one. It's look at look how tall this got. Now look, I can, I can re oh, I can, that's a minimum. I can resize this thing, just like that. And look how tall it is, I can actually work here now. Um, but one more thing. 
I enabled the CSS, jQuery, and PHP. Now, those are, are now I can add these kind of snippets in the Divi Builder. So look at this. We have this little thing right here. Look at this. CSS, jQuery, PHP. You can add snippets right here. Look, I'm inside the Visual Builder. See, you, now you don't need to go to theme options or the integration or even have a child theme. You can, you can do it all right here. CSS, jQuery, and PHP. You can just paste it in here and save and you can access this from anywhere right here. Okay, and by the way, this will actually synchronize this here with your theme options. It's the exact same code. It's just putting it in a different spot. So now you can put it right in the, in the, in the builder. All right, front end helper. This is stuff like you can um, set the hi highlight color. Like there, you can see that's blue. You can set that. Um, disable horizontal scroll movement. Here's the scroll bar. You can literally customize the scroll bars that appear on the side of your screen with, with these settings right here. Back to top button. You can customize the back to top button. Um, which you know screen does it show on? Do you want an icon? Do you want text? You know, do you want other things? All the styles you can do them right here. Here is a really cool feature. You can replace any text on your website. Literally any text. Just just enable this. See if I add add. Oh, I gotta rename that. But add this here. So you find the selector for the text, and then you write your text. You know my custom text. And if that was like a button or if that was some kind of random text anywhere on my website, now when I go view it, it's going to be replaced with my custom text right there, okay? That's a really cool utility. Um, accessibility helper, now this is just something you need to have. This improves all kinds of things in Divi to make accessibility better. Um, I'm not even gonna go over these, it's just a bunch of them. Um, so um, all of these things, we're gonna have a new one coming very, very soon that's gonna be module helper. And then when you click like module helper, it'll be like these like sub tabs with each module, blog module, you know, portfolio module, all the things, right? So you'll be able to come in here and see the settings. Now the settings are going to be in the actual Divi Builder modules, but we're going to list them here in the back end. So this is all after version 1.0. This is all version 1.0 that I'm showing you. Okay. All right. So, so there's, there's a lot to come, <laughs> a lot more to come even within here. Um, and you can always send us ideas right here. And yeah, I'm a little excited. So this is this is meant to be our flagship product. This is gonna be, this is going to get all the new features, like any feature suggestions that you have for Divi, um, it's probably going to go in Divi Assistant. And we're just going to, we're just gonna multiply this plugin. Like it's going to be like, this is going to be the plugin that gets like just all the new features. So um, let me know, um, especially as Divi evolves, we're going to be watching like Divi 5.0 very closely. Right now I'm recording in, uh, yeah, it's October 2023, it's October 1st. And so um, right now Divi 5.0 is, is in progress. So whenever that all comes about, we're going to be looking at that and seeing, you know, what all that's going to open up for us to even add more things. So as we go along, be sure to let us know what features you want to see. So be sure to share the plugin when people are talking about these kind of features. Um, if you benefit from it, leave us a review, like it, all kinds of things like this that will help us. And all of those things will help us add even more features. Um, we really wanna like get into that, that where you, you install Divi Assistant, you kind of set it all up, then you can export all your settings and then every new site that you install, you can just go, you know, really quickly get everything set up. That That's part of the goal here. But it's also just part of making, working with Divi easier, more efficient, improving things like, adding crazy new features, all of this stuff is going to be in Divi Assistant. So I really hope you enjoy this and uh, obviously I'm excited about it. And so, yeah, thanks for watching. Be sure to watch the channel and our blog and everything. We're gonna be you know, posting videos here and there about individual features and highlighting them. So hope you enjoy them as well. We'll see you all in our next video.